Hello everyone, I'm Jihan Lee, City Officer of Agriculture Distribution Division of Daegu Metropolitan Government. I'm so happy to have this opportunity to share our experience in part of a collective effort to overcome this unprecedented pandemic. We are all looking forward to the day when we can go back to our normal life. And we've been working very hard. First of all, I would like to brief Daegu City's agricultural status. Daegu is a highly industrialized urban city, so population of farmers is only around 40,000 or 1.3% of the total population. And industry-wide agriculture, livestock, and forestry industry occupies just 0.3%. And as of today, we have total 7,047 uh, 7, confirmed cases with 102 people are hospitalized or in treatment. At the moment, we have kind of resurgence of the virus. We have four newly confirmed cases, and accordingly, we have again vigilant to abide by the second stage of social distancing nationwide. From now on, I introduce Daegu City's efforts to support farmers and food providers to endure this hard time. First, farm products buying campaign. Due to pandemic, citizens have lost their jobs and income and accordingly reduced their consumption of food and dining. Therefore, we've encouraged city officers and public corporation staff to buy local farmers' products in, since March. And also, we promoted sales online to the public. And as a result, third, oh, 38 tons of products were sold, $470 million were sold. Another way to promote steady sales of local food is to open a regular market. Every Wednesday, we, along with neighboring provinces where the agriculture industry is bigger than ours, host an open market for local food. So it's a win-win project for both urban and rural citizens, as well as two neighboring regions. We have 256,000 students of primary, middle, high schools in Daegu. Due to postponed school reopening and online classes, school lunches were halted. To help students, family, and farmers, we, in collaboration with the Office of Education and District Offices made $7.7 million fund to provide $30 food ingredient voucher to every single student and provided it all by May. In addition, to support students who attend daycare program in schools, we have provided assorted seasonal foods and snacks twice a week from June up to the end of this year. Throughout this program, we expect young children can have healthy diet and farmers can sell products continuously. Many flowery events such as school entrance and graduation ceremonies and weddings have been banned for or cancelled since February, and flower farmers have lost their markets and sales. Therefore, our division came up with an idea to contract with flower farmers to deliver to each office of the city government with a small bunch of flower or plant on Mondays. This project started from May, and it has huge effect on fa flower farmers as well as our colleagues who have been psychologically and emotionally affected by the COVID-19 crisis. As a direct financial assistance, the city provided rescue fund to farmers who have been affected 
but have actively joined the social distancing campaign. Through this package, a total of 1,336 farmers and food providers received $1,000 each in April. We hope that uh, affected farmers can be relieved their economic losses even a little bit. Last but not least, what I want to add is that we are also considering the mental health for our citizens who have been severely affected by the ongoing pandemic in order to provide healing, the, healing for citizens the city along with schools at have provided green spaces for citizens to relieve their stress while being engaged with urban farming activities in their daily life. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for your listening.